Hey everybody, Scott here for the Digital Guitar Playground, the G System, and the Helix. Today, using the Helix, uh, inspired by one of Eric Johnson's mini guitar lessons that he's been doing on uh, Facebook. I think he's up to number eight. He does one a week. Um, and he asked people to donate to the uh, to their local food bank, which I did. I uh, set up a monthly payment to the food, food bank. Uh, I'll put There's a link in the description. You can uh, sign up there. Uh, because food banks are really taking it hard right now, and it's, a, you know, for a lot of people that are taking it even harder, it's the only way for them to get food. So, it's a good place to donate. Uh, Eric Johnson. I was listening to his lead sound. I'm like, what are the main components of that? I'll show you. Right here we are at the Helix. I am using my standard gate, but you will see I have changed the guitar input Z to 136k ohms. It reduces top end, and that's the whole reason for the season on the Eric Johnson sound, the reduction of top end. Uh, I'm using more drive on the kinky boost. Uh, bright is off, boost is on. More drive, less tone on the compulsive drive. And on the amp model, uh, a little bit more bottom end, a little bit more mid, a lot less treble, more gain, more drive. Uh, the normal shape instead of the thick. Interestingly enough, I tried the thick, it had more top end to it. So <laughs> I had to go back to the normal. And other things that are contributing, the uh, increased master, uh, the ripple is pulled down because it has a bit of a high end component to it when you turn it up. And the bias is turned up. Uh, as far as the IR is concerned, the low cut is down there. You could reduce the low cut further depending on your guitar. Uh, high cut is way reduced, uh, reducing, uh, removing the amount of high end that passes through. And the EQ is doing a ton of work. Same stuff on the bottom end. Tiny little uh, reduction in, in uh, low end though, as far as the uh, 125 and 250. Uh, more 1K being pulled out, and then a shit ton of top end. This is the real thing that's going on here that uh, gets you in the ballpark of the EJ sound. And then the reverb, a big ass hall reverb. 7.7 K, second decay, uh, 77 millisecond pre-delay, 50% mix. And then adjusting the low and high cuts is also important. You don't want too much bottom end. You, you wanna have some, but not too much. And then also reducing the, uh, the high end information that, uh, the, that the reverb is made of, which is the uh, high cut. And if you were to, you know, raise that up to like 4.4, you would notice a lot of sparkly highs in the reverb, which you don't really want for this sound. Or at least I don't. So, there is that. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> There you go, everybody. I am no expert on playing like Eric Johnson, although some people back in the 90s used to compare me to him, which was so stupid because I didn't know shit in the 90s. And he knows everything. So, uh, I mean, it was nice to be compared, but it's like, no, yeah, made no sense. Uh, single snapshot. And I'm not saying that this is, you know, to try and copy him because I can't copy him lick-wise. And if you can't copy him stylistically you're never going to get it sound wise this is just to get you in the ballpark if you like his sound uh using humbuckers if you're using a strat you're going to want to remove more top end because that's what i suspect i suspect his top end has turned off on his amp and his mid is probably down to like nine o'clock but i don't know i haven't looked at his amps i haven't been given access so uh you know this is just my subjective shot at uh a little bit uh, quick Eric Johnson sound like lead thing. And if you like it, uh, drop me a line. I'll send it to you this weekend. It's basically the same thing as the preset that I made on uh, on Monday. The same sound preset. Everything's the same. I've just adjusted the amounts on the overdrives, the amp gain, the amp master, and the reverb. I've also changed the EQ quite a bit. So 
same components, different settings. It kind of, you know, is a great, a great uh, uh, way to illustrate how uh, versatile the Helix is, using the exact same shit I used on Monday, getting a completely different sound. Good times. So, I will see you on Friday with a brand new camera. I've decided that the iPad camera kind of isn't cutting it for me because the aspect ratio is too tight. It does not, the, honestly, my iPhone 7 Plus has a better camera than the newest iPad mini. And uh, so I ordered an iPhone 11 Pro. <gasps> it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be able to go way wide, I guess, which will be kind of cool. Be able to see more albums, which means more work for me because I'm gonna have to swap out more albums every time, but I don't care. The things I do for you people. Um, yeah, so new iPhones coming tomorrow and, uh, the iPad will just be for, you know, I don't know what it'll be for because that was its main purpose. It no longer has a purpose. Hmm. So sad. Anyway, maybe I'll sell it or give it away to somebody for Christmas. Who fucking knows? Anyway, I will see you on Friday and until then rock on.